number 10 then from the first paper of the 2014 National 5. What have we got? One of these trig graphs. In fact, it tells you. Here's a graph of A sine X plus B degrees. Now, I've not put these numbers in here yet. Well, apart from that one at the end. It was X, that was Y. And it just says, write down the values of A and B. Well, how does this work? Well, notice it goes up and down the same distance. That's important. Just don't, don't just look at the number at the top here, because it might have been shifted up or down. It goes up 3, down 3. So A is 3. In fact, I'll mention something else here that isn't normally mentioned. These types of curves, are these functions, in fact, the sines and cosines, are known as the circular functions. They would be generated if you took a line, an arm, fixed it at one point, and then spun it around. If you took an arm of a certain length, let's just say a length one, and then as you turn that around, you draw the height of that. As that turns around, it would go up to the top, back, underneath and back again, that would generate a sine curve. So that if it was of length three, if you swung an arm of length three about, it's going to go up three, down three. That's why you say the amplitude is three rather than six, because it's actually the radius of that little arm that forms the circular motion that generates the wave. And the other thing is, if I start here on the horizontal, that will start at the origin, if you like, and then go up three, down three. If I start ahead a bit, it would start up here and then go up and down. Notice what's happened there. If I start ahead a bit, it seems to have moved back. If I started so many degrees forward, the graph looks as if it's going back. And if I start so many degrees behind, if I start here, in fact this is one I'll put in just now, let's just move some of these bits, then following that pattern, it's going to come up and then go over the top and then go down and then come back again. Notice that's what's happening in this one. So you've actually started behind so this should actually be, just thinking of that, it's an arm of length 3 that must be rotating, because it's gone up 3, down 3, so that must be 3 sine. And you haven't started there, you've started behind by an amount. Well, I'll get that from this figure. It's got a 40 here. So it took 40 degrees to get started. It took 40 degrees before it reached the starting point, the horizontal. So it was 40 behind. That's why it looks as if, when you've got a minus 40, it looks as if the graph's going forward 40. But it's really because it takes 40 degrees before it can get started, because it's starting 40 behind. Anyway, it didn't say write this down, it says state the values, so you'd have to be careful. Well, A is 3, certainly, but B isn't 40, because it says plus B. If it said minus B, B would be 40, but since it says plus B, B is going to have to be minus 40. And those are the two marks, one for that and one for that.